on today's own ballady. But I am still the greatest mic person. I'm not. It's not bro. You can't do this. You can't do this, bro. So today we had a 10 minute show because today we had to take the performance task in homeroom. But today the show was not as good. It wasn't so it wasn't smooth, but I'll say it was okay cuz we didn't really know how it was going cuz we had to cut some parts of the show out. And I think some of the systems weren't working as well and our anchors were just confused on which stories they should read. All right. So today there's a problem with the mics cutting out probably cuz there's a Jamie I will let you finish, but I am still the greatest mic person ever. Yo, yo, you can't do bro, this. Bro, I'm, no, I'm no, the, stop, stop, I'm stop. I'm stop, lit. stop bro. bro, you can't do this. You can't do this, bro. <laughs> stockings, two anchors, and the key to a great broadcast. On the fifth day of, you'll find that out tomorrow and next week. <laughs> it's getting closer to Christmas by the minute, so let's celebrate with chocolate. What do I mean? Well, we have some sweet stories to share with you. Blind skater, wow, miracles really do come true. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is coming back to the movie scene. I'll tell you more about it in my entertainment report. Tokyo, did you know it's getting colder? They do for my mother report. What in the world? Find out why I said what in the world coming up. We'll be back with that and more on the other side of the break. The bird, 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 bird machine. Check. Welcome back from the break. No, it's not for it's not play by play. That was your last chance to get your yearbooks before the prices go up. Get them now for $39 while this deal lasts until the end of the month, before the prices go up to $49 on January 1st. Congratulations to all our Tetzloff Munn class and Mike for leading our best delegates to the Best Delegate Award, Lauren, and numerous honorable mentions. The conference was held on Tuesday, December 6th at Granada Middle School in East Witter Unified School District. Tetzloff won 10. 14 awards given out to the participants. Best Delegate, Lauren Legionano, Afghanistan. Honor, honorable Mention, Austin A. Zim, Zimzawabi, Jaden Du, Nimbia, Olivia Jamie, Canada, Sean Hornberger, Hornberg, France, Roy Garcia, Mongolia, Aria Patterson, United Kingdom, Zach Gordo, France, Absavi Ablukusumo, Haiti, and Elijah Ting, Kenya. Once again, congratulations. Let's check out the Tets Off calendar. Today is minimum day and college day. Now it's time for the action reaction. We're back with another magic segment. Let's check out mag magician Matt Franco making a football star's phone appear inside a football. Oh, uh, ever? Thank you. And do you have your phone on you? All right, let me steal that from you for a second if I can. I'll take it. Great. Now, wrapped up inside of the towel, all right? Yeah, that was out. Where did my phone go? Hold on, stop for a second. Can you call him? Phone for a second. I'm calling it. Do you hear anything? No. I don't see anything. See that? Anyone, someone have like a, uh... I threw the ball. You 
see something in there? No way. Seriously, no, no way. way. Hold out your hand. Way. Hold out your hand. Actually, just can you grab it? Reach in there. Yeah. You got it. Check that out. Dude. Seriously, no. no. Well, that was awesome. Did you know that football star Robert Gonkrazaki, the tight end for the new for the New England Patriots? That concludes with us all play by play. We'll see you after the break. Holy grail. Welcome back. Time to get into today's hot topic. Chocolate is like an alien. It can melt, it can freeze, and it can also bend? Now there is something called a chocolate slinky, which is basically chocolate formed as a slinky. The chocolate is first melted and then is swirled onto a wood carver that spins around which helps form the shape of a slinky. The chocolate can also be spray painted with food coloring and glitter. People can find these chocolate slinkies on desserts and in places near Las Vegas where the chocolate slinky originated. Is it possible to have healthy sugar? Well, now there's something that happens to be chocolate and healthy at the same time. The, cho this, the chocolate is a gooey, delicious fudge cake smothered with ganache with high, with all known carbohydrates. The high protein ingredients, this chocolate was founded by a gluten-free baker guru named Sarah Lynn. The ingredients that Sarah used for her cake was sweet potatoes, Greek yogurt, coconut oil, we wee protein powder, coconut whipped cream, a drizzle of almond butter, and a drizzle of chocolate sauce. Unfortunately, this chocolate is not sold anywhere, but it is a recipe that you can do at home. Time to check in with Jace on today's entertainment report. Good morning, Jace. Last night, the brand new tra trailer for Homecoming was released on Jimmy Kimmel. This high anticipated reboot a young Peter Parker juggling his so sophomore year of high school with being your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He is mentored by Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. This movie takes place after the events of Captain America's Civil War. The main protagonist will be the green-winged vulture, played by Michael Keaton. Go and watch this amazing trailer at home yourself. Don't miss this, this spectacular movie coming out on July 17th. Alright, now... Okay. So I, I remember the Spider-Mans with, uh, what's his name? The, like, original Spider-Man, you know what I mean? Uh, I can't remember his name. Tobey Maguire, Tobey Maguire, there we go. Yeah, everyone had to help me with that, Tobey Maguire. I think he's my favorite Spider-Man. Let's see if uh, the new Spider-Man will beat him. Uh, I didn't really enjoy the amazing Spider-Mans so much as the originals, but Tobey Maguire. All right, now uh, let's talk about, huh. well, Last of Us. You know, Last of Us trailer came out. Amazing game. Maurice just flipped out when I said that. Um, Last of Us two, Part 2 trailer came out. I talked about this earlier, but I just want to stress how much amazing the first game was. The first game was one of the best campaigns I've ever played. It was just amazing. That's how, that's how good of a game it was. Just top 10, maybe top 3. All right. Go check out the Amazing Spider-Man trailer. Go check out the Last of Us 2 Part 2 trailer. Now it's time to check out with weather. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning everyone and it's time for today's weather report. Starting off, in Tokyo, Japan, we will be seeing a low of 52 degrees. Moving on to the other side of the map, all the way at the bottom in Rio de Janeiro, they'll be seeing a low of 89, or of 75, sorry. Moving back up, we will be seeing 15 in Anchorage and um, 33 in New York today. Moving on to our highs, we will be seeing 52 in Tokyo, other side of the map, all the way at the bottom. We'll be seeing 85 in Rio de, 89 in Rio de Janeiro. Moving back up, 12 in Anchorage and 30, 37 in New York. Do you see these rolling? So this is interesting. So when you look at one, the others roll, but if you look at the others, then that one starts to move. And when I'm explaining this, it sounds very confusing, but do you see these rolling? Send us your mind tricks or any other pictures of you with your friends at Ungba Global. Now it's time for Sports with Jameson. Good morning. Wow. 
Well, somehow the Chiefs pulled off, pull off a win against the Raiders. Oh, and I got a treat last night, but I did not take a video in and have it mess up the show. Okay, now for basketball. But first, there's a guy named Danny who said, why don't you put baseball in, the, in your sport reports? <laughs> and I'm just going to leave it at that. Well, now for basketball. The Warriors beat the Jazz, the Pelicans lose by one against the 76ers, and the Bulls beat the Spurs 95 to 91. Now for the news. How's everybody doing? Good. So, um, Alyssa, we were there yesterday. Today we have a police captain. His name is Mike. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Okay, let's go down to the first story. An anonymous, an anonymous girl going by the name JS was living in the UK and was diagnosed with cancer and was told that she would not live. JS later did studying on cryogenosis, the process of freezing a human body after death in hopes of resurrection. In the future, she wanted her body to be frozen after death, but her father, who had left her at an early age and also had cancer, disagreed, but later on changed his mind. However, the father stated, quote, even if the treatment is successful and is brought back to and she's brought back to life in 200 years, she may be left in a desperate situation when she passed away. Her body was sent in dry ice and was stored in America for storage. Hmm. That's crazy. That, that's really crazy. I'm not sure if that was a good idea to do the freezing, because um, I'm pretty sure um, it's not, because it's not like in movies where they free someone, they come back to life, but that actually, it could actually, might be a possibility, but we'll have to I, find that out later. I don't think it's a possibility, honestly, but why would she freeze her body? That's, that's scary. What do you think, Mike? Well, I think she wanted to freeze her body so that maybe she could be held in a state for a period of time until they could develop a cure for the type of cancer that she had, so that oh. they could bring her back to life, cure the cancer, and then she could go on and lead, lead a fruitful life. Okay. Yeah, I, I like his idea of it. I like his idea too. <laughs> okay, let's get on to the, well, that's have it for the news. It's time for today's segment where you show the world what they have. Adri oh. Adrian Anadovin is one of the world's most accomplished violinists, he, for he plays the violin with one hand. Brandon Giggs, Griggs, a CNN reporter, said, quote, he has performed at the White House at a Vancouver Vancouver Winter Olympics and during an event at MIP at age nine. His parents started to look at different instruments for him to play. He decided on the violin, even though he had an adaptation whenever he played. He sounded just like anyone else playing without a disability. Now Adrian is 28, a graduate of Philadelphia's Curtis Institute of Music, earned a master's degree in Yale, and he is helping kids who have disabilities. Now let's uh, fill us in on the size of this week's football. Well, again, this is Mike with us. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. So you are a police um, captain, am I right? Yes. Yeah. Is that exciting? Yeah, uh, it can be very exciting. It's been a very good career. Yes. Okay, well, can you please read today's Whipple? Violent video games encourage real-life violence. Here's what you guys said. Sales of violent video games have significantly increased the violent juvenile crime rates have significantly decreased. Yes, because many people copy things from games to real life and never think about it. Here, um, do violent video games increase violence? 22% of you said yes, 67 said no, and 11% of you said depends. And our last question, can you please read it, Mike? Is peer pressure good or bad? Hmm. Well, I don't think it is. So to vote, visit us online at ungwood.com. You can also send your vote and comment to us at Instagram at ungwoodglobal. Leave a comment with us at either place and your message just might make it on the air. So Mike, what do you think? I think it can be good or bad. It depends on the type of pressure that's being applied. So if you think about it, if your friend is trying to encourage you to Sorry. If your friend is trying to encourage you to do your best in school or to make new friends, that would be a good type of peer pressure. But if you're being asked or pressured to try, say, cigarettes or marijuana, that'd be a bad type of pressure. So I just don't think it depends on the situation. Yes, that's what I do too. So thank you, Mike. 
And so for that, Anna, let's read the uh, FYI, shall we? So, where does the longest word in the world come from? Italy, Germany, America, or Brazil? Take five. Germany, and uh, I'm gonna attempt to say this word. Then I am Fischern our Giselle Shaft and Captain. Oh, okay. Van Underwood can ride bike, skateboard, play basketball, and football just like other kids. What makes him so remarkable is that he is blind. He had both eyes diagnosed. He had both eyes removed when when he was diagnosed with retinal cancer at age two. The the way he does it is echo echolocation. He does this by clicking noise with his tongue and sound waves bounce off the surface and goes right, right back into the underwood. Many other mammals and some birds can do this well. Sadly, the cancer spread to Ben's brain and spine and he died in 2009 at the age of 16. That's all for the show. Thank you all for joining us today and we'll see you back here next week.